In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to find the EPP code on GoDaddy. Now, if you're planning to transfer your domain to another registrar, locating your EPP code is one of the crucial steps you'll need to complete. It might sound a bit technical, but don't worry, I'm here to guide you through it step by step. So, let's dive right in. The first thing you need to do is navigate over to the main GoDaddy website. You're looking for their domain names, websites, hosting and online marketing tools section. You can do this by entering the URL directly into your browser's address bar or simply searching for it if you're a little unsure. Once you've landed on GoDaddy's site, your next destination is the products section. This is where all your domain related products are listed. From the home page, locate the top right corner or side menu depending on the current website layout and click on my products. Now within your list of products, scroll through until you find the specific domain you're interested in. Next to this domain, you'll see a small manage button. Click on it to proceed and this will lead you to a dashboard that's entirely dedicated to managing that domain. Once you're in the domain management dashboard, your next step is to click on domain again from the list provided. This selection will guide you to further settings specific to the domain you're working with. You'll need to stay focused here because the next part is crucial for unlocking the EPP code. Now that you're in the domain dashboard, look for the domain settings option. Clicking on this will expand a variety of settings. Here, you should see the domain lock option. By default, domains are locked to prevent unauthorized transfers. To proceed, select domain lock and you'll be prompted with a continue button which you need to click. With those steps completed, we're getting to the key parts which involve initiating a transfer. Now select the transfer to another registrar. This choice is significant because it's the process that leads you to the EPP code necessary for domain transfer. After clicking on it, another continue prompt will appear. Make sure to click on it. Finally, the moment you've been waiting for, click on click here to see authorization code, is here where GoDaddy will display your EPP code. But before you leave, remember, you'll need this code for the transfer. So to make sure you have it handy, it's best to click copy to clipboard. This action ensures you've got the code ready to paste wherever needed. And there you have it. Finding your EPP code on GoDaddy is as simple as that. Just follow these steps and you'll have it in no time. Thank you for tuning in today. And don't forget to like or subscribe if you found this guide helpful. Until next time, happy domain managing.